Today we're talking about the four most important windows in Cakewalk by BandLab. So if you want to know why these windows are vital to Cakewalk and the music creation process, then stick around after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So in today's video, we are talking about the four most important windows that exist in Cakewalk by BandLab. But before we get to that, I wanna mention that I have a link popping up in the top right corner to my Cakewalk training playlist. So this playlist contains many tutorials that will help you get better at using this amazing DAW. So definitely check it out after this video. So with that being said, let's get into today's topic and let's talk about our first window, which is the track view window. All right, so here we are in Cakewalk by BandLab and we're actually already in the track view here. So in the left-hand column here, this is where you get your track information, where you can see the track names. And if you expand upon them here, you can see input outputs, you can see whether they're muted, soloed, record enabled, whether they're frozen, all kinds of good stuff. Let me close that back up. In the center section here, you can see the track's data. So what's actually been recorded for it. So if it's a instrument track, so let me expand this here, you're gonna see MIDI data here. And if it's a audio track, you'll see audio waveforms, okay? And if you happen to navigate away from this view here, you can go up to the views tab up here and you'll see that we have the track view, okay? You can simply click this here and it will get you back to it. Or you can do Alt-1 on your keyboard as a keyboard shortcut to get you back to this window, okay? So in this window, you will be recording and editing within. Now, you will not typically be mixing in this window. Mixing is done in our next window, which we're gonna talk about, which is the console window. All right, so this is the console view in Cakewalk, and it may seem a little daunting to any beginners watching this video. Let me kind of break it down to you here. So. Each track has a channel strip here. Essentially, this is a channel strip from top to bottom. And then we have this gray divider here. So this kind of splits the channels over here on the left. And then on the right-hand side, we have our buses, we have our metronome, and then we have our actual master output here, which essentially feeds your audio interface and then to your speakers, okay? So that's kind of how it's broken down in Cakewalk. So the channel strips all start with a gain here, and this is your master gain per track. And that's the amount of gain we're gonna feed into the channel strip from top to bottom. And then they hit the pro channel. Now you don't have to use the pro channel if you don't want to, but it's pretty cool. So if you hit this little play button here, you get access to all these different modules in here. And these are actually built into Cakewalk and they sound really good. And the cool thing about them is they don't use a lot of CPU since they're actually built into the DAW. And if you guys are interested in learning more about the Pro Channel, I have a link popping up the top right corner now, so definitely check it out after this video. So with that being said, we're not gonna talk much about the Pro Channel in this video, but all of this section right here where my mouse is hovering is all the Pro Channel stuff. So moving down to the FX section here, this is where you can insert third-party plugins. And to do that, all you have to do is hit the plus button here, and then you have access to them right here, and you can insert them. And that's gonna be like your EQs, compressors, and whatever else you have available to you. Next is your send section. And this is typically where you would send a copy of this track to something. So it could be to a reverb return, to a delay return. So this is how you would actually use reverbs and delays onto a track, for example. Next, this is kind of our general section I call it. This is where we have our mute, solo, our record button. We have our pan knob, and then we have our volume control. So this is where we actually do our mixing right here, okay? And then we have our in and output section, we have our track name, and then our track number. So this is, again, where the mixing happens right here regarding volume and panning. So, you know, there's a lot going on, obviously, in this console view here, but 
this is where all the magic happens. Now, to get to this window, we can go up to the view section here, and then we can go to console view and click this, or we could do alt two on our keyboard. And the cool thing about this window too, is it is dockable as windows are in Cakewalk. So at the bottom here, if we double click on console, check this out, actually docks it to the bottom here. Now, obviously that's a pretty poor view, but we can simply just drag up our track view here a little bit higher, and then we have more of a view to it here, okay? Now, if we double click it again, it's gonna give us our full view here, okay? So that's pretty much how it works. So now let's move on to our third window, which is our browser window. All right, so the browser window is located to the right-hand side of the track view, and it is always there. Sometimes it is open, sometimes it's collapsed. So this double arrow icon here will collapse it, and it will also expand it. So the browser window is made up of three subcategories. You have media, you have plugins and notes. So the media section is where you can access media and simply pretty much drag it into your session here, or you can also preview it here with the play button. The plugin section here allows you to see all of your audio plugins, your MIDI FX, all of your virtual instruments, and then if you have any rewire stuff like Reason, okay? And then your note section here, you can actually list the you know name of the artist, name of the album, song, and actually put some information in your session here. And this is very good if you're gonna be sending it maybe to a mix engineer or to other artists and stuff to work on, okay? So the browser section is very useful, and I think it's the best way to actually insert instrument tracks. And if you wanna know more about that, check out my video on the four different track types in Cakewalk popping up now in the top right corner, okay? So that is our browser window. And that leads us to our last window, which is the piano roll. All right, so the piano roll window is best accessed by double clicking on a particular instrument tracks data. So for example, I have addictive drums here. If I double click on this here, it's gonna open our piano roll here, and then we can actually get access to some of the MIDI data, as you can see here. So the piano roll is where we actually go in and we edit MIDI data. It's much easier to edit it here than it is in other places inside of Cakewalk or pretty much any DAW. So this is where all the people that want to modify their you know, MIDI data go to modify it because the piano roll exists in every DAW. All right, so we can go in here and we can do quantizing. We can write in MIDI notes. We have access to the length of our notes here, how we write them in. There's all kinds of stuff in here. We can also access our velocities, our sustain pedal on a keyboard, all kinds of stuff. Now, this is a beginner tutorial and we're not gonna go over all this stuff. I think that this window deserves a tutorial of itself, which I think I'm gonna put out this year, but I just wanted to, you know, let you know that this is definitely, I think, one of the four most important windows in Cake Walk. All right, so now you guys know all about the four most important windows in Cake Walk by BandLab. So I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe because I'm making this content for you, and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys check out my video on track management and organization in Cake Walk by BandLab. And with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later and peace out.